here's another video about psychology and psychiatry and um, na the nature of humans I want to create this new product called the um, integrated hierarchy okay it works like a circuit this is how psychology and psychiatry really works it is essentially an integrated circuit that is like a processor with memory all the functions of your life are like integrated circuits and they are able to give you a solution each and every time something is thought of or done or experienced or whatever it's an integrated hierarchy okay and there's there's mainly like a set of rules at to the left of the hierarchy this hierarchy is a diagram from left to right top to bottom and it's made of sub circuits that can send you in any direction and all the way back to the beginning okay and the beginning is death or the beginning after death so essentially we don't want that to happen but all integrated circuits can send you into a position that is uniquely designed and specifically designed by both the laws of nature and the laws of um, virtuous thinking so if you integrate virtuous thinking with the laws of nature you're going to get circuits that basically um, are integrated in different directions so it's an omnidirectional integrated circuit that will send certain aspects in a logical direction based on what the solution is to the problem or the experience so um, if something doesn't have the right information that is measured upon the actions or the virtues of any one given circumstance then it will send you in the opposite direction or downward and it will send you um, based on your information in the direction of the result of the action and the virtue so your virtues and your actions have to be both true and lead to something better something that creates a solution um, so we understand that time is also um, a part of the measurement of this so time will be where you're at in the midst of all the factors and divisors that are a part of your life the adds and the subtracts and how you proceed so like it's like taking a test that pretty well goes up or up or down on the levels but it also can shoot you sideways into advancing of technology or advancing the virtues or advancing the um, the actions so that maybe you could rise up a new level because of an advancement which can also set in alternatives so you may have taken a path and remember this is a high an integrated hierarchy your integrated hierarchy is complex and it can be adverse 
So every decision is what we're questioning. This is like a supercomputer, essentially. And um, every possible question, every possible solution, every result, every, every entity, every action, every virtue is going to be tested and measured. And it results in the complex integrated hierarchy. And that's the laws of understanding the position of people. We can actually predict what people are doing right now. We could, we could set a computer algorithm to tell us all of the potential things that a person does in one day based on what they do every day. And then we could give it a prediction rating uh, saying that they're probably in bed or they're probably pooping or peeing or they're probably thinking negatively or thinking positively or they're thinking nothing at all, they're just resting or they're just surviving or they get a disease or they die or they're uncomfortable or they're they're regretful or whatever. You could take a lot of dimensions and add it to the complex integrated hierarchy and it will predict um, certain outcomes. Now, is it really accurate? Now, that's the question is, it's its own entity and you ask, how factual can you make a prediction? Well, you have to first know that predictions are absolutely um, impossible to place into a person or a position without actually measuring that person or that position. So um, you have to make the measurement. But it's, it's by chance. What are the chances the odds of actually finding the right answer. Well, if you put all the right information in, the odds are as many as your dimensions based on... You have to have a measurement to base your um, chance on. So the measurement itself would be knowing something that's happening to your your uh, your entity that you're measuring and then you have to say well they're doing this they're doing that the machine will have to say okay this is what we predicted before this and then it would have to compare the results and then it would have to know why it was either right or wrong and then the machine would have to know the reason to that and then all the other reasons for why or what and it could be an endless virtue it's called the uh, complex integrated hierarchy of psychology and it's an endless virtue anything is a trigger you see anything is a trigger and it just triggers us to, to respond. And that's pretty much what what we do is we, we get triggers. We, we're constantly triggered to survive. We're triggered to live. We're triggered to know. And do we actually all have the same triggers? No, we don't. None of us are actually aligned on all of the same triggers. When we get married and we have kids and families and things like that, we try to align our families with ourselves. We try to align people together. But this is just um, leads to uh, depending. It really depends. It leads to like malalignment often. And you can't always align prediction. You can't always align people's ideas. But however, with, with the understanding of truth, given our five senses, 
we can actually align the truth and many people will understand it. So therefore, there is an alignment. So, if you don't align with the truth, you're going down in the hierarchy. And um, that's a result that mo none of us want to take upon ourselves. So, the hierarchy is about going up and mostly up and advancing to the right. So, that's what we want to do is we want to go up and right. And that's pretty much a right angle. And actually, that, that is a significant measure um, in terms of uh, the universe and energy and the laws of nature. And it's a significant number, 90 degrees. Um, it's, it's, it's a universal measurement of all existence. So, like... It's even biologically accurate. So, I mean, up and to the right on the hierarchy is the integrated hierarchy complex. That's where we're eventually going to end up. Which, it, if we do end up there, which is a result of perfecting everything or eventually coming to an end, probably. So the end, the end result is of two. So something ends up perfect or something ends entirely. That's the end result of the hierarchy. So we've, we've only got one shot at this if you ask me. So uh, how long is it going to take? Is it possible? We've only got one shot at this. So thanks for watching. This is the video about... Uh, the uh, psychological uh, life uh, complex uh, integrated hierarchy.